<laughs> Let's see that in slow motion. Oh, actually, already you see the, the green one way better than the red one. Let's skip all the green colors out. And this is, as you can see, only the red colors. And now all the red colors are gone and you only see the green colors. It's a beautiful day! Good morning, afternoon or evening. What's up? My name is Marta. This is Silona. There is Sergios and Venetia. And we're gonna go enjoy this beautiful weather today. Remote activation. Now I can do it because we've got a nice and quiet park. It's a beautiful day! The sun is shining! And I feel good! And it's a very nice day. It's really a nice day. Welcome to the vlog again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining the family for now because we left uh, our little boy Jason with his grandma. And now we're gonna take a nice walk in Park of Ayo Nicola. Uh, Sergio and Venetia have never been here. But they're gonna enjoy it because they said like around Volos you don't find a park like this. Les. Oh, there's no parks park in Volos, like that. Yeah, there's no parks even in Volos, like that. The sea is very different, of course. See, in Pilion you can also just go on the mountain and just chill a little bit on the mountain, go into the forest, but you cannot just leave your kids walking around because they're like wild snakes and everything. This is an entire park with all kinds of platen trees. There are fishes, pestrofa, that are being grown here. You can fish for them in the pond there. See beautiful blue water and everything. Kids can walk around here, they can go fishing. Okay, you can feed the ducks and everything. There's geese even in the back. There's a park for the kids to play in, it's, it's amazing. Let's roll some B-roll, shall we? Has there ever been someone that has been vlogging outside of a, or from the inside of a tree? I'm literally inside a tree and there's, it is so weird, look. I'm inside a tree, a platen tree. And it feels so weird, there's like all, everywhere there's like juices from it. It's very moldy in here though. But there used to be a branch, there used to be a branch, there used to be a branch. These trees have survived for so many years. Actually, I think there's an old, an old nest actually for wasps or something. Or does it just look like that from here? I don't think you want to be here in summer, but look, they're out there. Do you see them? They're Sergio and uh, Venetia. And you could just walk out here or just walk out. It's not that easy. <coughs> How cool is that? Beautiful. Look at that tree. How big it is. We were just in there. Sergio is a little taller than I am. Let's see if he can get in. He's also skinnier than I am now. Yeah. <laughs> I was a plumber, huh? Look how far it is. And look how far it is. And look how far it is. And look how Lord of the Rings. It's like Hobbit. It's like Hobbit. Wow. 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 These are expensive glasses because they are on strength. Let's leave them somewhere high. And maybe we'll find them all the way. Yeah. He says maybe it's from someone that got killed here and we will find slowly piece by piece more pieces like a shoe down there or down the road. But let's leave it somewhere up high so someone can see. Will they see it here? Yeah, probably. 
These are expensive glasses. They're like with thick glass inside anyway. What did you just tell Venetia? That if you stand on that tree and you look at a certain point, you have the feeling that the river goes the other way around. If you stand on that tree there. Oh, I remember the tree. The staircase is gone though. There's no staircase anymore. There used to be one. And because Venetia is pregnant, it's a little dangerous. So Ilona says that when you walk on this tree here, and sorry if it's a little loud because of the water. Oh, this feels very scary because I'm walking on the tree. The tree is stable right now. I'm walking with my camera on the tree. And at the same moment, I see this water rushing down below me. Believe me, this makes you dizzy. I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but this is the place where most of Nausa's drink water comes from, right? All of it, all okay. All of it. The sources. These are these are sources. So all the water here comes from the bottom and from the mountain and everything. From they, the inside of the mountain. From the inside of the mountain. From the inside of the mountain. All the water comes up here out of the ground and they what? You can see it. You can see it. I don't see it. So because it's a little noisy, it's maybe hard to hear because it's the back noise, but those the edge in the back there. That's literally like a ledge that comes out of the mountain and water falls over the edge. If you would go from the old path, you could see it. You could stand and the water would come out underneath your legs. Yeah, there, there is a gate there, but I don't dare to actually pass through it because they locked it up here. They, they have a little bridge that looks a little nah, wanky. And there's a gate in the back there, but you cannot go past there. I wouldn't be mad if I would not try for a second though. <laughs> Even though I'm having an inexpensive camera and all that kind of gear. Because there is a path here, but... Also a lot of water and water and those shoes don't go together. Oh, it's soggy. This is a piece of wood and it's soft. It's super soft. It's like spongy and all. This is like swamp area. Also swampy. I want to pass back there, but there's like a big pipeline. I cannot cross through there. Not with these shoes. We're gonna get, we gotta get back one time here. The position I'm in right now is also not the most comfy. <laughs> Not comfy in all honesty. Okay, twist and turn and get wet feet. Okay, I'm screwed. <laughs> Did it. Welcome back here. I think that's cool. Welcome back. Plus, there are more people waiting for me right now, so. And I don't want to be that person, you know? Remember the gate from a second ago? You could just go from the back. Oh! Do I have that on camera? Did I knock off my glasses? It is. Yeah, there's no way passing here. This is the path. And there's a lot of very sticky bushes. I feel like Tarzan here in the jungle. With all these hanging here. These are hanging all the way up, up in the trees. You see that? This is what, what Tarzan hangs on to go like... Rawr, rawr. There's a lot in the trees here. It's because it's so moist around here. I talked a lot for a nice and calm forest and I need to pee but hey it's the forest last time when we were here we had this thing in the darkness with Ilona's cousin cousins actually what I didn't let you no because I was pregnant of course you were pregnant you're not going to stand on this while you're pregnant right Venetia <laughs> without hands eh, Ilona yeah it's but then it's violent first <laughs> okay it seems more different than it looks no hands, Ilona, no hands. It looks easier than it actually is. I have nowhere to step because I have the hill in between. 
You just say stuff so we we feel sorry for you. <laughs> nope. Fail. Again. It's not like I know better or something, but. The last one. I have heal. So. <laughs> I don't care if you have or not. Sergio, this is a good training for boxing. You should try it. Because he's boxing right now, so you need to stand steady when you're sparring. Like, both feet on the floor. Usually you stand with both feet on the floor, but especially when really? sparring. Sergio goes to the boxing school that I filmed at the other day. Ah. Fail. And he just showed us that he jump rope, so let's see if he can. <laughs> let's see that in slow motion. Κάτσε λίγο σου πέρασες χωρίς να κρατάς χέρια. Ανέβηκα χωρίς χέρια κιόλας. Αυτό είναι για κουνφού, όχι. This is for kung fu, not for boxers. Έτσι καθόμουν και εγώ τότε. Yeah. The pregnant woman stays on the couch. <laughs> You're doing like a shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> Opa, what is the problem? Yeah. Hey, I feel that. <laughs> Who's jealous? I'm afraid. Why? Why? I'll catch you. With the camera. No. No, no, no. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, I have to bleep all what she's saying right now, but it's okay. Leave me! <laughs> I would never do that. And right inside of the park we have the church of Ayunicola. And they're getting ready for Easter and Megale Pemtipes. Megale Pemtos? Epidi? How do you say that? Like how do you, would you translate it? That they have uh, the purple ribbons because of the Penthos? Yeah, exactly, Penthos, that's what I was asking. What's Penthos? In? Yes, that more grie ah, for, for grieving. For, yeah, grieving, yeah. Yes. So that's why they have the purple for grieving. These are for decorating the epitaphio. Yeah, this is for the epitaphio. The epitaphio? Epitaphio, epitaphio is the... It's the thing where they carry on uh, the cross. Actually, I think this is going to be the... <laughs> right? Probably this is going to be the epitaphio, so... Because they, they fill it up with all flowers and everything. You can see it in last year's log. Light a candle for someone. But sadly enough, like Ilona said, this church is completely renovated, huh? Yeah, it's just Because it looks like a new church right now from the inside. This used to be the outside wall, and the inside used to be not this white and clean and stuff like this. It used to be like a classic church, and now it feels like a new built church. You can hear the sounds of the air conditioning in the back. It's blowing warm air instead of like cool air. It's so warm outside. 30 degrees they put it on. Can you imagine if you have 50 people in here? No, leave the little ladybug sitting there. I, sp I spotted the ladybug. And Ilona wants to pick it up immediately. <laughs> leave it. Why do you leave it? It's the house. Why do you leave it in the house? Why do you leave it in who remembers that when they were like little kids that you had like a little ladybug walking on your finger or like this? To call Mr. Rotuas. Now I'm so sad that you put. You put it on your finger. You have one like this as Tatuas. Yes. Ah, look. What time do you have? It's only a little bit of time. Where is the Tatuas? What do you have? Ah, it's on my boots. You have. Oh, he flies! He flies! 
Sergio does not know his own powers. He was like uh, very carefully picking it. Uh, whoops. And here's me talking. Do you remember those moments when a little ladybug walks over your finger? Hey, egg. Who left this? From the dad. Easter Bunny has been here. Oh. <laughs> Easter Bunny. <laughs> I want to make a quick stop at the cherry trees that Ilona's grandpa has, but there are no flowers on there, so there's no reason really to go there. I want to go there because usually when a cherry tree is full of blossom, it is so beautiful. You can take very nice pictures around there. But in this case, we were driving there and I see like a lot of poop on the road and I thought, hmm, what is that? Well, there's an entire horafi here that's completely full of goats. Sheep, actually, sorry, these are sheep. And the dog that's protecting them. Yeah. Oh, poor dog is hurt though. He's got a hurt paw. I want to take some pictures. That's the only reason that I want to come here because I want to take some pictures. Because it looks amazing, this. Also, with like. Oh! Oh, and not a little bit also. That's not smart. I say that there's shit on the road and I'm not watching if I step in it or not. It's okay. So we're skipping back into the city with uh, the guys. And here on the wall there's a big, big artwork from Lobart. It's like a big festival that is here in Nausa always, every year. And they do very nice graffiti on the walls. I showed you in the past as well. I put a link up here. You can check out the old vlog, but look how good this looks. Someone really worked hard for that, you know? And then there's some Malakas. It writes in German here, Griechenland über alles, which simply translates as... Greece over everything. I don't understand it. Anyway, we're gonna have a drink at Boston's, I think, which is a nice bar with a very nice view. Seemingly, it's a little bit busy, but still, the view is amazing. But we're gonna go somewhere else. A little bit too busy. It's okay. There's more places that you can sit. Let's not drop my, drop my camera here, by the way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bit in the park right now here of uh, Nausa and there's such a cool tree here it has such a very nice bark it's like metal it's so nice look at this it's almost like skin but it's very nice it's like it's been in the water for years you know those pieces of driftwood that have like these very nice shapes and everything because the water has passed by it so often this looks so nice I don't know is it just me that likes these kind of things or more of you guys very cool must, looks almost like some Japanese kind of tree with like the way it's growing also out like that. So because it was so full back there, we decided to go down here at where all the stores are and have a nice drink. But uh, it's busy outside and the weather is amazing. We're having a nice time by the way. I hope you're enjoying this vlog also even though there's like a lot of footage of people uh, enjoying their time in the park or just the park by itself with calm music. Is it calm music that I used? I don't know. I don't know yo I don't know yet how I'm going to do it. Ilona, it's for you. Yeah? Oh yeah, he's here. I'll surrender him in a second. He's from the police station. No, it's from the psychological clinic. They're looking for you. Say, Says the girl that say, just answered say, another phone. Calls me crazy, but answers the phone who's nobody is there. <laughs> I'm not hungry. I'm just gonna have my, my coffee right now. Mm. It's good. I saw an artwork here from Lobart again. 
coffee was nice by the way well the coffee was bad but sitting for a drink was nice and I, we walk back to the car and I see this artwork here on the wall and I saw something online like this where if you only see the blue colors you see one picture and only the red colors you see another picture and it's this one and I'm not sure if I can do the same in the vlog but if I can you will see oh actually already you see the the green one way better than the red one Let's skip all the green colors out and this is, as you can see, only the red colors. And now all the red colors are gone and you only see the green colors. Cool, huh? And that one in the back there. Pretty awesome. It's just that it's so stupidly pushed away in one corner. Oh, we know this artist also. I talked about this guy in the past as well. He also did some uh, art in the harbor of Volos. Very nice. And we're back. And it was the first time actually that I left my son behind and I felt like don't like it. Look at my boy. Hello, my boy. Hello, you. Hi. The camera. <gasps> camera. <laughs> camera. Hello, vlog. We had a lot of food again. We have like melizanas. I had this sauce that we had the last time as well. I forget every time the name with Mama Liga, but this one it was this time it was fried, so it smells like popcorn. And this is pickled lachana. Yeah, it smells like popcorn. It is some popcorn because it's made out of corn, of course. And now we've got some fraules and we've got cheese and I think no miso este de taxi though. Okay. So nice to sit outside, huh? So nice. Hello, kitty cat. You come greeting me again? There's a time of coming and there's a time of going. And now the time of going has come. I said it before already, but Venetia and Sergio are about to leave. I think they had a nice time here now. So it was their first time to be around. So ah, the weather is outside so nice. It's nice. It's like 22 degrees or something, but the sun is not very strong. So we can sit nicely with Jason outside like this. Teach him and then you will see you will be like don't touch it. Don't touch the camera. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can find the way home. Bye bye. Let's see if they call us in like half an hour to see if they get out of here or not. <laughs> because last time I've had to pick them up, so. Bye bye. Yeah. Wow. I would do everything for a smile like that. Time to sit down and edit again. Whew. Every time I try to pick a moment to edit when Jason is sleeping or when there's not much responsibility asked of me. Let's close the door behind me. Because otherwise Durak will probably just hop outside. I'm having my coffee right now. Didn't finish editing though, but it's not, not, not a problem. Because Jason woke up, he started crying. Ilona was downstairs and I just held him and he fell asleep in my arms. So I've been laying with him for an hour on the couch or something. Tried to close my eyes, but it wasn't really nice. It wasn't really working out, but still it was very nice. And now I walked down because he woke up and they said, you should go outside because it's so beautiful outside. It smells amazing, like a summer evening almost. But look at the view. Look at the color, amazing. So beautiful. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I enjoyed that right now. I'm gonna have my cup of coffee and I'm gonna continue editing because otherwise you you guys will never have a vlog because every day is a vlog, remember? Or 
Almost every day. And no longer in time, sadly enough. Gorgeous. Sadly enough, this dog is making a ton of noise, and these guys are just hanging around in front of the house. I don't understand why, but it's annoying. Because the dog is barking all the time, and they don't care. And I'm editing right here, at this, behind this wall. I was at H, I was that annoying as well. I'm sorry for everybody that I ever bothered with that. But uh, now I feel like an old, grumpy guy. I am not old. I said it's bedtime. And then we went to bed and we literally stopped vlogging. I forgot to do an outro for the vlog there. So, if you like this very long vlog, because we're right now at 26 minutes, if you like it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, because I love to read them, we always reply. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.